Hey guys, I'm Jackson Drum, and if you've recently had your iPod or iPhone locked up from a passcode, don't be worried anymore because all you have to do is you're going to have to have your iPod or iPhone or iPad. The white cord that you charged, charged the iPod, iPad, and more up with, and you have to have iTunes on your computer. So when you have all your iTunes and everything, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your iPod off. Okay. Now plug the USB into the side of the computer, like so. Then what I want to turn my iPod off. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm just going to turn it off. Okay, so now it is off. Okay, so it's going to take quite a load. Okay, right, now get the sign that you plug it up with. And hold the home button in. Hold the home button in. And then plug it up. It's going to turn on. Okay. Now when you hit the home button, when you don't have this plugged up, it's going to be a wreck. Okay. But now you'll see what it will do. It has to load. A minute. And what it's doing is, it's getting ready for the iTunes. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, but what will happen is that the, uh, the iTunes, the iTunes logo will pop up, the icon will pop up, and what you're going to do on your iTunes, you're going to see a warning that pops up. Exit out of there, and then what you're going to do, you're going to see another, uh, like another warning, just exit out of that. Well, then you're going to see a word at the top left corner. Top left corner. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, you will see, it'll say reset iPod. It's the very last one. And then at the bottom, you'll, you'll see how much data you have left. Then you'll see reset above that. We'll click that and it'll take 10 to 8 minutes. And then your iPad, iPhone, or iPod will be reset. So, thank you.